everyone, this is Elias from Refmatch Media, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Land Rover Defender 110 V8. Yeah, we definitely went big boy with this. So let's go ahead and get started. We can start in the front and <laughs> this thing just looks incredible. It looks mean. It's it's going to grab your attention. You cannot avoid. Yeah, <laughs> you can't avoid its presence. You really cannot. It looks really good. We take a look at the headlights and yeah, these things are incredible. I love the little turn signals on the side. I do love the kind of uh, three quarter circle almost. Um, but yeah, this, this projector light. So these, uh, they just look really, really good. We have the little washer there to, you know, if you decide to get this guy dirty, it'll clean that guy up there. But yeah, I love the sunken in look. It just looks really, really good with the black trim on it as well. And speaking about color, yeah, we have the Carpathian Gray. It looks really good. In bright sunlight, it, you can see a little bit of a richer gray to it. In darker light or in shade, it does give a black color to it. But yeah, this thing looks really good. I love the front end, big massive wheel. We have the front facing camera down here, which is part of the 360 degree uh, camera system that this has that looks really really good super clear so many viewing options it just kind of stitches all the cameras it has to to give you the clear and very accurate uh look to that system but yeah and as you can see we're actually pretty high this is the off-road two setting um because yeah i gave it a little bit away there it does have air suspension um but yeah you can actually see it's a good amount of of clearance there uh, again it just looks really good oh and this hood has like kind of like a it's plastic but it looks like diamond plating design so nice little design elements functionality maybe not the most but it looks really nice so let's go ahead and see what we have under this hood we get under the hood and we have the 5.0 liter supercharged v8 cranking out 518 horsepower and 461 pound feet of torque it is connected to the eight speed auto and then to the land rover all-wheel drive with twin speed transfer box so yeah, <laughs> we have a V8. So the other smaller two-door um, Defender that we drove was great because it was smaller, lighter, and it had the inline six, which was super smooth with the supercharger, the turbocharger and the mild hybrid. Yeah, Land Rover goes now, we, we can get rid of those two for two more cylinders and, but we'll still keep the supercharger because yeah, superchargers have a nice sound to them. <laughs> and this sounds really good. What's funny though, is you don't hear the supercharger as much, as much as you hear that rumbling V8, which is fine. It just sounds really, really good. The performance is definitely there. This, it can get this big guy really moving. And again, with this being the bigger four door, you need the extra oomph, <laughs> the extra power to get this going super smooth shifts no issues there you put it in eco mode and this thing is super quiet super calm you put it in dynamic which is their sport or kind of like their race mode so to speak and this thing screams and i love it i love it um miles per gallon yes it does miles per gallons <laughs> miles per gallon it, you could care less really or i could care less really because this thing has just been so amazing at just putting a smile on my face it really has uh, i've been surprised with this uh power plant yeah no issues getting power down to the ground speaking of let's go ahead and see what we have in those wheels and tires we get down to the wheel and tire package and we have this nice big 22 inch five spoke design it is wrapped in the continental 275 45 tire now a couple of things with this first uh it is a very big tire i was not expecting a 22 uh inch wheel on an off-roader like this and yeah sometimes you can say this is a mall crawler but this one still at that massive wheel felt really capable of you know really getting it out there and it's because we do still have a nice big uh sidewall on here would i have liked more yeah i if i know i'm not going to go off-roading or anything like that 
yeah, this setup is nice. Love it, love the way that it looks. If not, I'd go down to the 20 inch wheel with a little bit of a bigger tire. Um, but overall, the ride to this was really smooth, really comfortable, super quiet, super smooth. Uh, we do have the air suspension, which you can see there. We have it at the highest setting, which is off-road two, um, but it does have like off-road one, then I believe normal and the entry uh, exit mode um, or just, yeah for you to ease into access, easy access, I believe it's called. But yeah, it's just, it, it, there's something about Land Rover and how they've dialed in their vehicles that just feels so good when it comes to the suspension. It's just incredible. The braking is there as well. Nice pedal feel. These big brakes really get this big guy stopped. Um, the only thing with the suspension is don't push too much on turns because, and I'm talking like extreme, like, you know, it's not a sports car, it's not a Jaguar. <laughs> so you do feel a little bit of the body uh, swaying uh, when you put in a little too much steering input. Um, but other than that, and it does grip, it still grips though. It still transfers the power to the different wheel. It's just, you're gonna feel the body roll a little bit more. But this is incredible. One of the best, if not the best suspension, this section here. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and see what we have on the side. We get to the side and <laughs> this thing is a monster. I love it. Cla like I mentioned in the other review of the Defender, classic Defender lines, just really great side profile. This is what makes the Defender the Defender. It looks really good. Couple of things. Again, we have the, the headlights, which you can barely see just because it's kind of gotten that sunken in uh, eye look kind of thing uh, going on. And we have the big 22 inch wheels. We can see the large amount of, of space there uh, because we have, again, that air suspension. We have the nice little vent here, which is a nice touch. It is in the, in the uh, gloss black finish. Again, this, this gray color looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, you're, you're like the bad guy in the James Bond movie, which I wouldn't mind driving one of these. <laughs> but yeah, it looks really, really good. We have that V8 here. So just to tell people, yeah, I splurged a little bit more. We didn't go with the inline six. We went with the V8 uh, under there, supercharged, really good. So we do have also the black trim. It just looks really, really good. Uh, this does have the black roof go with the black roof. It looks better. It really does make, it gives it that accent to it. Um, and we do have the sunroof. Again, my favorite thing, these little windows up here. My, my kid was in the back. He goes, dad, there's windows up here. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, we also have, again, just this rear fender area here just looks nice. It's nice, nice little hip to it back there. Um, but overall, this is just a really nice looking SUV. Now I have my key fob in my pocket and a couple of things. So I do have, I do put my hand on here. There is no sensor to unlock. So we do have the button there so I can push that and unlock and I'm good to go. I can go ahead and close here, push the button and it, un and it locks it up. And I do have the button in the back which I can just go ahead and press and open this up and get the little kiddos and the dog in there. Go ahead and close that and lock it. And really, you're good to go. Now, uh, let me go in, hop in, start it up, and show you the different levels with the suspension. Forgot, button. <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> there's a train. There you have it. It's at the lowest setting. You can see there's a ton of suspension travel available with that air suspension. Uh, yeah, well, let's go ahead and head to the back <laughs> and see what we have back there. We get to the back and it gets even better. This thing just looks better and better at every angle <laughs> you look at it. Couple of things, these taillights. These taillights look 
amazing. I love the, the red, I love the turn signal, it just everything, the design looks really, really nice. I love that they kind of look like they're part of the body itself, nothing sticking out, nothing like it doesn't belong. So I love that design that we have there. Uh, I do like the big glass in the rear, even though we have this massive 22 inch wheel, it's actually really uh, easy to look out the rear uh, window. and. If you don't want to though, you have up above, there's a fin, uh, your antenna fin that also has your camera for your rear, uh, rear view mirror camera system there. So yeah, it's been on 99% of the times uh, because it's just really, really good. <laughs> and we also do have your backup camera down here though, uh, when you are backing this big guy up because you gotta make sure you don't hit the tire on anything. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. We do have the uh, hookup points on each side there, which are nice. We do have the exhaust with this being a V8. We can see we have dual, uh, dual tips, so quad tips. They just look really good. They sound unbelievable. I really love this. And of course, this guy can tow. Uh, yeah, I'd say this guy can definitely tow enough for a Miata. So, <laughs> Maybe this will be a track, you know, track day hauler. Uh, but yeah, this thing looks just unbelievable. So key fob in my hand and you do have this handle here, which honestly, uh, Land Rover, you kind of messed up because this handle has a little button on the inside. I wish the door handles themselves had this because all I need to do is come in here and squeeze and it will open it up. I don't know why. You guys didn't just order four more of those. <laughs> Makes parts easier and put them on there. Not sure, but we open up the door and we can see how easy it was to really open up the door. It's not like the Bronco. The Bronco, man, I'm like really struggling and it didn't feel like it was gonna break or anything. So it, this still feels like a solid mount. Um, yeah, I think the, the Ford needs to look at these uh, because that opens up really, really well. As opposed to again, there's that you're having to really struggle, but you open it up and you have a ton of space, uh, a good amount of space uh, in the rear. So this is two, two row uh, version. We do have the 20, 40, 60 split uh, rear seats, which is definitely what you want. It is basically functionality is there. Um, but we do have, again, this nice weathered mat um, in case you put the dog in here and it gets dirty. It came with, <laughs> this one had a little dog. It looks like a dog mat. Um, honestly, my dog doesn't fit in here. He's too big, <laughs> but he does fit back here and he does have his own vent so he can go ahead and change it. No, just kidding. Um, you can control it with the three zone uh, climate. You can change that. We have the windows up here so he can see up there. He can see out the side. It's just really, really good SUV. Now, the other thing though is even though he's a big dog, this is still a little high to for him to get in and that's because i did raise the suspension back up to the high setting but not to worry because if you forgot that you could go ahead and click here or push here and it will lower the suspension for you so yeah we got it down so now it's easier for him to get in and you're good to go put groceries in if not if it's easier to load something a little bit higher we can also raise this guy so it's not just about going down but it's also bringing it back up. But yeah, this has been awesome. So we can go ahead and close this guy. And now comes the disappointment with the key fob. The reason why is because we don't have a remote start built into the key fob, which would be nice, considering that this has a V8 that sounds so incredibly good that we can't show it off. So we have to go through the app. Uh, I don't know if there's a subscription, but I know it has to be through the app. Just give it to me on the key. I'm paying a good amount of money for this vehicle. <laughs> you wanna put it on the key. Well, let's go ahead and hop in and go for a ride. You get inside of the Fender and man, this thing is just incredible. This styling in here is modern retro. It really is. It's it's a lot of great things to this uh, and utilitarian as well. So that that's the great thing I love about the Defender. And I'm glad to be back in one for another week. I know, I wish it could be for longer, but yeah.
for another week. So let's get started. Uh, with that being said about utilitarian, yeah, we have this door that has the exposed bolts uh, for, you know, kind of like the, the door card, so to speak. But yeah, this thing looks incredible. It feels really nice as well. These different materials, these different finishes are just so good in this Defender. It, it really is. And, and really in any Defender, because I've, I've I've been in about three or four of them and they're all just been so so good so I love the finish on this one super comfortable armrest uh, whether on the top or the bottom it, it really is a good um, you know comfortable design and again that that ah, those bolts just look so good the other thing with this is we do have the uh, window controls and we have the child lock buttons here yes we have the child lock button here which I love to have because again with all these different cars that I get every week, um, it, I, I always kind of forget, oh, I have to go press the little button on the door. No, uh, for, you know, the back door. So this has it right here at my fingertips. So if I don't have a, if I don't have a, um, you know, an, a, a kid in the back and I have an adult, I can turn that off and on whenever I need to. But yeah, the door is just really nice. We have the Meridian sound system here, which just sounds so spectacular. It sounds really good uh, in this Defender. Then we get over to the seats and the seats are nice and comfortable, which reminded me, uh, even though it is 59 degrees, I still want to cool down the inside or I want to cool these seats down. So yes, they do have cooled seats and the heated option so once it starts going a little bit too cold i can switch it back to the heat but these things are incredible with that kind of like micro sway or just really soft cloth in the middle it just feels so comfortable i could be sitting in these for hours and not complain a single bit the adjustability insane there is an insane amount of adjustability um yeah side bolsters you can really have a have it hug you huh. <laughs> or if you don't ease on the tacos you can make it a little bit wider um but yeah everything is just really really good um uh, only thing is i've been spoiled with mercedes having their controls up here so it was a little of like what does this do and then it's like whoa, 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 <laughs> kind of thing so i wish the controls were a little bit different uh on on here but yeah uh, other than that though these seats are really really incredible then we get to the steering wheel yes i'm excited about the steering wheel but then uh practical use i'm kind of not so this steering wheel is the micro uh, suede uh, finish basically alcantara it feels so so good it really does this thing is incredible the size of it is nice and beefy uh i mean we have just everything about it the, the feel is really really good practicality long term maybe not the most uh practical especially if you take this guy to get it dirty that uh this steering wheel is going to get bad really really quick so maybe stick to the leather the buttons in the front the functionality one of my favorite systems ever because you look at the controls on the left and they look fairly simple but it's actually a multi-button system so when you press the middle it's gonna it's gonna actually switch so there's like a little screen in here essentially so to speak uh, or just different lighting um that lets you basically use this as a multifunctional um like keypad or, or so yeah just a little pad buttons there so really really love this you can change all the settings on your on your gauge cluster with literally just four buttons <laughs> that's how good it is and then obviously on the right hand side we have the cruise control system and everything there uh really nice the volume control on the left side was actually really comfortable as well that's what i was using 99 percent of the times uh because the other knob we'll discuss in a little bit uh kind of its placement but yeah the the volume knob everything this wheel is just spectacular oh and the paddle shifters as well uh nice big aluminum i don't know if you guys can hear that <laughs> but that's my ring hitting them uh yeah they're they're really really nice uh nice size uh, again nice metal finish to them love it love this wheel then we get over to the infotainment screen and the infotainment screen is nice it's nice and big it's sharp 
it is really bright as well so even with the sun hitting it right now i don't know if you got if that one is capturing it but it is really easy to see with direct sunlight hitting it yeah this thing is amazing and uh amazing there are a ton of different things so these are kind of like the panels that you could um adjust and we've kind of gone over these in the other defender as well so there's tons and tons of different adjustability that you have in there which i really really love the sound system like i said this has the uh, meridian system the it's just loud and just in your face which is what the defender really is so it's i love it this is one of my favorite systems uh, because again you have such a beautiful ui it's a beautiful standard you know kind of factory ui i, I almost want to just leave it on this and not even worry about apple carplay because you do have your music here that you can change and everything but yeah it's just a beautiful beautiful display and a great system and uh, again there's just so many <laughs> things in here the cameras which you have a button here uh, a heart a soft hard button so there you'll always have that little camera button available there there's just tons and tons of awesome things in here so uh example we have like the seats the seat heat and everything for the front and the rear does only get heat uh on there but yeah it's just really really good but we'll go back to apple carplay overall it's a great system wireless apple carplay as well so thank you thank you land rover for doing it the correct way and having that there uh i have a cable in here but that's just because i didn't know if it had it so set it up and it's literally been taking up more space than anything then we come down here and we have the shifter the shifter is nice i love this shifter i love its placement um it's nice and comfortable and then over here we come to all the goodies here so there is a lot in this little area we have the hill descent control we have the auto off we have ac controls we have the air suspension controls we have the terrain controls we have the uh the ace uh, more ac controls and we have the volume knob which is way over here so yeah this one's gonna be for your passenger <laughs> just use the ones on the steering wheel for for yourself but there is a ton of things and again this has kind of like that sub uh, menu system so that when you press there on the um temperature gauge so to speak and you have the option of cooling or warming up your seats then you press it again and you're set uh you have uh, again the air suspension you can press it there uh on here on the left and then on the on the middle you have for your different um programs so we have a ton of programs we have dynamic which is basically sport and then we have eco we have comfort we have grav grass gravel snow is one and then we have mud ruts sand rock crawl wade and configurable so you can configure it yourself or you can switch it over to um, auto. So no, we don't want to configure it. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stay in eco for a bit. <laughs> but yeah, I, again, I do love the fact that we have those dual menus uh, on these controls to keep things nice and tight. And and it's not something where it's like you're diving deep into a ton of menus. No, it's pretty visually easy. <laughs> it, it's a very simple way of accessing your your uh, controls then we come back down here a little bit and we have the uh controls we have the connections for the usb a and usb c uh, and we have our 12 volt uh, adapter there and we have a little area cubby down here uh, it's a little impractical because it's kind of hard to reach um, whether it's through the top or through the bottom so we didn't really use it that much if at any anything really my wife goes careful because things just fall down there <laughs> So we have that. Then we come over to the cup holders and the cup holders are nice and big, maybe a little too big because my water bottle here is kind of moving around. Uh, there is really no pressure on, on a water bottle, but we did get a massive, massive cup. Uh, and okay, so you know the takeout, uh, the soups, the like Chinese soups, we had that container and we were able to fit it in here like the big ones the big ones they really fit in here with no problem those little suck those little rubber cups just kind of went inside and yeah it was holding it with no problem there then we come a little bit more 
to the back and we have the wireless charger which works really really well it's been charging my phone uh just literally just place it there it's out of your uh out of your sight uh and just really tucked in there with no issues yeah love it especially with the wireless apple carplay then we come back a little bit more and we have the armrest well first the armrest is nice nice material just really really nice and comfortable as well nice positioning but we open this guy up and we have a fridge we have a fridge which uh i seem to have my receipt and my sunglasses in there which is really kind of maybe we'll put them down here we should maybe move the water back here to make it cooler but yeah we have kind of a two-stage we'll make it at the coldest uh two-stage uh cooler back there it is so so good yeah we were out and about and it started getting hot and we just put that guy in there and it kept our drinks really nice and cool then we get to the back and the back is what that first defender i reviewed needed four doors yes for for me for me i know that if it were just me and my wife and i didn't have you know anyone else to really carry like our little one uh, then two door was perfect i love the look to it um but the four doors yeah you for practicality reasons it, it's just way easier to get into like it, as you guys probably saw if you haven't yeah you'll see the link and all that stuff you the uh, the rear was really difficult to get into with the uh, two-door Defender. We have four doors. My kiddo loved it. Really, really nice uh, back area. Super comfortable. Tons and tons of space. And then we get to the back area. I almost said third row because it kind of acts like a third row. It's, it's funny because we do have the... Uh, we'll go to the AC controls. And there is... So climate. And there is a front rear and load space so this is a three zoned ac unit because when we go to the back <laughs> it has a little pet icon here on the uh on the screen for the rear so we can make the rear for your so it's really for your pet and they can be cooled or heated uh if you want at a different essentially uh you know with more fans so to speak uh for that now let's talk performance. We're dealing with the 5.0 liter V8 cranking out 518 horsepower and 461 pound-feet of torque. It is connected to the eight-speed auto and then to the all-wheel drive system with what they call the twin-speed transfer box. Now, uh, some time ago, we reviewed the two-door, which had the, um, the inline six with the turbo supercharger and mild hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> We got rid of the mild hybrid. We got rid of the turbo. So we're stuck with the supercharger, but we have two more cylinders and they're in the shape of a V. Uh, let me tell you, I am a little frustrated with Land Rover that we do not have a remote start on the uh, key fob itself because this V8 freaking roars that's that's what i'm gonna say so we'll go ahead and switch this over from eco to dynamic and we'll have it turn on this thing is a blast so <laughs> yeah this thing is loud <laughs> <laughs> this thing is a blast to drive as well oh yeah well that goes half the tank but it, trust me it is well worth <laughs> the money you're spending on fuel it sounds so so incredible the ride is unbeatable unbeatable it's just so relaxing it just absorbs everything on the road it just it, it's been the favorite of the family everyone has loved everything about it yeah usually we're like oh, okay i don't like this i don't like that no we love everything about it except for the price tag at a hundred and like ten thousand dollars yeah it's a big one but yeah this has the v8 this is four doors this has the different finishes it has this it has that so it's it's a crazy package to get all of this 
I, yes. <laughs> my wife goes, when she saw the price, she goes, I'm going to need to get a better paying job for, <laughs> for this. So, and I, I agree. I, I need to, yeah, I need to get a better paying job to, to get this. So make sure you subscribe, share, uh, like everything to, you know, have YouTube help me out and you guys help me out so that YouTube can pay me a little bit more to afford this. It is such a blast. I need to have this. Everyone needs to have one of these. And the fact that it's in black and yeah, you're, you're the villain. You're the villain in a James Bond movie. I would totally not care. <laughs> I would totally not care, especially when you can do this. Yeah, it sounds so good that v8 is so <laughs> oh man yeah yeah it is so so nice sounding and it just rides so smooth let's see if we hit that the bump that we normally do but yeah it's just the suspension just eats it up with no complaints no anything really i'm just surprised at how good it handles everything. Now, performance wise in the sense of, the suspension is really, really good, but be aware that, you know, faster turns, the body roll is there. So it is a little bit, you can feel the, the weight to it. So so don't go chucking this like if it were a, uh, you know, sports car, but it still feels so, so good. Like you wanna go for the potholes. That's how incredible this thing is well guys i hope you've enjoyed my review of the land rover defender yeah this has been incredible and remember find the right gear see ya